thank you for coming out. This is amazing weather. It's a beautiful view behind us. Uh, my name is Michael Smith, or Mike Smith, and um, I am officially announcing for the uh, Senate, District 13, today. And although it kind of came out last week, it, it's official now because I, I'm saying it in front of a microphone. <laughs> but uh, with me here, my uh, with me here is my wife Sarah, uh, my daughter Grace, and, and Lila. And uh, just give them a hand because they put up with um, they put up with they put up with the uh, the ridiculousness of, of politics that sometimes goes on. My two sons uh, are in college and they couldn't be here today. Um, I, I'm running because now is the time. Now is the time. I, I've run before, and it's and it hasn't been easy. Uh, we've there's lots of challenges in running in a, running a race. But it's important, and the reason I run is, is a, it's a little selfish, maybe, but it's for my family. I see the state around us, we have so much potential and yet we're not using it. And I, I really feel that we need to live up to our potential. First and foremost, though, I'd, I'd like to thank uh, Senator Piva Weed. You know, although we disagreed on some things, we agreed on a lot of things as well. And she, we share the same, belief that in Newport and Jamestown she was here for uh, for 26 years and she did it she did a good job a great job and um, I just want to commend her for that I think we should give her a hand even you Republicans you need to give her a hand and but now now is it is the time now is the time to look forward and we have some dignitaries here I'd like to uh, now uh, well does anybody else? Blake Dickinson from the Jamestown City Council is here. Um, is there any other? Is there any other uh, famous people here? Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, we'll keep this informal. But um, <clears throat> the main vision that I want to work for is a year-round economy for Newport and Jamestown, and for Rhode Island. We become too dependent on tourism. I, we need to protect tourism and, and keep it growing, but we need to move forward with a year-round economy, and that's what I will do upstate. I'm going to work with our city officials down here to make sure that we have, a, we work with the North End Innovation Hub, that we work with the freed lands that are going to freed up, that are going to be freed up. Um, we need to accelerate the, re re uh, the redevelopment of the bridge. These are important. I mean, we've been talking about them for years. It's time for action. With, um, with the year-round economy, I think that we need to also realize that when companies come here, when companies want to move to our area, they hire people and they hire families. But what is it like for Newport families and Jamestown families now? I can tell you for my family, it's very difficult to afford housing. Home prices have gone through the roof, and it's also uh, it's difficult with, with taxes increasing, increasing and tolls and fees. The burdens on the middle class family are, are just too much, and we need to find relief. So when businesses are moving here and they're seeing that Newport is losing its population, we've lost 50% of our population in the last 40 years and we're projected to lose 15% more of our population in the next 20 years. We need to turn the tide. This is not about politics, it's not about Republican or Democrat. It's about change and it's about changing the direction that we have been on for far too long. We need to move forward. There's many other issues that companies moving to an area look at. The other is schools. All of my kids have been educated in public schools. I am not one of those politicians that puts their kids in, in the elitist private schools and then is, gets donations from the NEA. Um, my kids have all been educated in public schools. I believe in public schools, but each year we continue to throw tax dollars at public schools and each year they keep falling more and more. It's not about money, it's about the way we do things. And that also goes to our infrastructure. We have one of the highest roads and bridge spending in the country. Yet what is our result? 50th. We're the worst roads and bridges in the country. And that's DOT figures, that's government figures. 
We can do better than this. Where is the money going? This is one of the things that I'm going to find out when I get up there. Roads and bridges. Um, uh, the other issue is, is, is a personal issue with me. It's not just my family, it's my mom. My mom lives across the bridge and she deals with ever rising costs in energy, uh, health care, prescriptions. This is the f another 50th that Rhode Island is in. We're the 50th worst state in the country to retire. It's, it's, it's unimaginable. We're, we're taxing military benefits in our state. Can you believe that? We're still taxing some Medicare benefits. That needs to be eliminated. And then finally another very important reason for me to run is I'm a small business owner. Small businesses are our largest employer. You know, we think of the businesses that politicians are coveted by, that politicians are given money by, and that's companies like the large pharmaceuticals or the large corporations. But we don't realize that every time they pass laws to make, to make it harder on businesses, they're making it harder on businesses like mine that employ six or less people. And that, that's our largest employer in the state. We need protection for small business, and we need to open up the doors for business in our state. Currently, right now, another, <laughs> another 50th, we're the 50th worst state in the country for business. All of these things together are, are almost like a, some nuclear tsunami, and we need to change this tide. And this, again, is not a Democrat issue, a Republican issue, or an independent issue. This is about working families. This is about communities. This is about making Newport ready and resilient for the future. So with all these things, and there's much more um, as the campaign trail goes on, um, I, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. And um, uh, again, uh, I'm announcing my candidacy. and. I'm open for any questions um, afterwards, but thank you very much and um, thank you for your support. <laughs>